Hello everyone, welcome to Form 4 Additional Mathematics, Chapter 4, Indices, Certs and Logarithms. And this is the Part 1 video for Logarithms. So in this Part 1 video, we are going to look at relating the equations in index form with logarithmic form. So before we look at what is logarithmic form, we look at the equations in the index form first, where we have already learned this uh, when you are in Form 3. So the equation generally will be n, a value, equals to a to the power of x. For example, 8 equals to 2 to the power of 3. Or you might, you might have 5 to the power of 3 equals to 1, 2, 5. And 2x equals to 32, where x is an unknown. All these three here are examples of equations in the index form. When you are given an equation in index form like this, we previously we already learned that to find the value of x, first we need to change the number, convert the number 32 to an index number with a base 2. So you can use try and error until you, you find that 32 is actually 2 to the power of 5. And then by comparison, since the base number 2 and the 2 here is the same, x is equals to 5. This you already learned in the previous maths and nmaths topic to solve this type of question. But if you are given 2x equals to 7, the problem comes. Because you cannot convert 7 to an index number of base 2 easily. So when this happens, it is very difficult for us to find the value of x. So we need the help of logarithm to that is why one of the usage of logarithms is to help us to solve this type of questions. But in this part one video, we are going to look at the basics of logarithms. So we are going to come back to this question, maybe in later videos, when we already master the basics of logarithms. So what are the equations in logarithmic form? Okay, so equations in logarithmic forms is generally shown in this form, where you have this, equals to x or you can also write as x equals to this now how are you going to read this x equals or x is the logarithm of n to the base a x is the logarithm of n to the base a or sometimes we just read x equals to log base a of n log base a of n so examples of this type of equations are like, for example, log base 2 of 16 equals to 4. Log base 10 of 0 0.5 equals to negative 0 0.3010. These are all the examples of equations in logarithmic form. So we already look at the equations of index form and logarithmic form. So, so actually these two equations, they can convert to each other. So generally, log base a of n equals to x can be converted to n equals to a to the power of x, vice versa, with the condition that a is greater than 0 and a cannot be 1. So a is a positive value and a cannot be 1. If this is the first time you come upon this relation, it, it might be a bit confusing. I'm sure it will be better after you see all these uh, coming examples. Convert a to equals to 2 to the power of 3. This is an equation in, in index form to logarithmic form. So we need to refer to this relation. So by referring to this uh, relation here, okay, this is actually n equals to a to the power of x. So 8 is n, a is 2, x is 3. So when we want to write this in logarithmic form, it becomes log a n equals to x. So the a here is 2, so it's log 2, n will be 8, so 8, x will be 3, will be 3. So you convert this to logarithmic form, but for starters, this will be very confusing as well. So we can see the conversion in another way. Like for example, I rewrite 8 equals to 2 to the power of 3. You can see that if we bring the 2 to the left hand side, 
we can write 2 as the base of the log. So 8 is still here. And the 3, which is the in index, will now become the number. So this might be easier for you to see how to convert from index form to logarithm form. Question number 2. Convert 1024 equals to 4 to the power of 5 to logarithmic, logarithmic form. So again, we just bring a 4 here, become the base of the log. So you get log base 4 of 1024, one which is equals to 5. That's it. We try a few more. So now convert this to logarithmic form. So if this confuse you, we can rewrite this as 81 equals to 3 to, 3, 3 to the power of 4 first. And then we bring a 3 here. It becomes log base 3 of 81 equals to 4. This, we rewrite this as 16 equals to 2 to the power of 4. And we bring the 4 here. It becomes log base 2 of 16 equals to this, which is 4. If you are familiar with this, uh, with this already, you can skip this step. So from 2 to the power of 4 equals to 16, you can straight away bring the 2 here. You get 4 equals to log base 2 of 16, which is the same. Now this time, question number 5, you are given equations in the logarithmic form, you need to change to index form. So you just take the 2 here and move to the right hand side. You get 8 equals to 2 to the power of 3. That's it. The same applies here, you take the 3, you just move here. So 27 equals to this 3 to the power of 3. You can double check, 3 to the power of 3 is equal to 27. So this equation is correct. So now after you, you understand how to convert index uh, equations in index form and logarithmic form, you try to convert this equation here in index form to logarithmic form. So before we convert, I rewrite this where 1 is here, A is here. I can bring a to the left hand side so that a becomes the base of the log. So I have log base a of 1, which is equal to this, the 0. So this is a one, of, uh, one of the important properties that you should know, you should memorize. But the log with any base number of 1 is always equal to 0. Then we go to the second property here. If a to the power of 1 is always equal to a, so if we rewrite this, and then we bring the a from the right hand side to the left hand side, it now becomes the base of the log. So we have log base a of a equals to 1. So this is also very important because the log with the base of any number of the number itself, you see a and the a, is always equals to 1. So for example, log base 3 of 3 equals to 1. Log base 10 of 10 equals to 1. Now we go to the next one. a to the power of x is always equals to itself, a to the power of x. But we move the a here to the left hand side, it becomes the base of the log a. So you have log base a of a to the power of x equals to the x here. This x comes from this x here. You can see that the log with the base of any number of the same number with the power x will equals to x. For example, log base 5 of 5 to the power of 3 is equals to, you see a, a here, 5, 5, so x, 3 here, so x here is 3. So all these three properties here, log base a of 1 equals to 0, log base a of a equals to 1, 
log base a of a to the power of x equals to x are very important. Please memorize this. Now, before we look at more examples, we have a few notes here. So note number one, log base a of n is defined if n is greater than zero and a is greater than zero and a is not equals to one. So n is greater than zero means a, n must be positive value and a must be positive value and cannot, cannot be one. For example, log three zero. So n must be greater than zero. So n cannot be zero. So this is undefined. Log with the base zero here is undefined. Log with the negative base undefined. Log base 10 of negative three. So we have a negative value here is undefined. And log with the base one. Well, since a here, a cannot be one. So log of the base one are all undefined. There is no answer. Please keep in mind. And note number two. And for note number two, okay, if you are given log base 2 of 8 equals to 3, we can rewrite this by bringing the 2 to the right hand side becomes 8 equals to 2 to the power of 3. The 3 here is the logarithmic value, while the other 3 here is the power of the index number. So when you convert the equations of this form to the other form, the index form, or from the index form to the logarithmic form, you find that the logarithmic value is the power of the index number. Okay, and one more thing you need to note here is the base of the logarithm, the number 2, and the base of the index number, they are the same. Okay, the base of the logarithm is the base of the index number. The next part of this uh, video is to determine the logarithmic value of a number. So what does this mean? Okay, to determine the logarithmic value means when you are given log base 10 of 12. So what is the value? This value is the logarithmic value. Okay, so we look at the examples. So example number one, find the value of log base 10 of 12. So to find the values, you can use a calculator and just key in this to get the answer. For example, okay, so your, this is my calculator. So we want to key in log base 10 of 12. So we look, we find the log key here. You, you press the key, you have this shown. The log here has a base of 10, even though it's not shown. So we don't have to key in the 10, we can key in 12. Okay, so we key in 1 and 2, we get log 12. And again, this is log base 10, which is not shown here, of 12. And then we press the equal key to get the answer, which is 0.079. So we give an answer in four significant, uh, four decimal places. Hence, we need to round off this. So this becomes 2 because of the 8 here. So the answer is 1.0792. 1.0792. That's it. So for B, you may pause the video here and you take your calculator and try to key in log with the base 10 of 0 0.05 and see if you get the same answers, which is equals to negative 1.3010. Notice that the answer can be a negative value. So the next one we have log base 10 of 3 over 4 since 3 over 4 is greater than 0 so this is except um, clean your calculator now and it is equals to negative 0 0.1249 now for question 2 now the, the log here will have a base of 3 okay for some calculators you can key in log base 3 of 27 to get the final answer straight away but for some calculators, you cannot because some calculators, they can only calculate log base 10. So in this case, you have to use another method. So actually in the future, you will learn one of the law of uh, logarithms to find this value. But for now, we use this method. Let this number equals to x. So we can bring the 3 to the right hand side, you get 27 equals to 3 to the power of x. We convert 27 to 
index number with base 3 which is 3 to the power of 3. So by comparison, since the base is the same, the index here 3 equals to x, so x equals to 3. Since this number equals to x, so the log base 3 of 27 equals to 3. We try one more example. We let log base 5 of 625 equals to x. So move the 5 to the right hand side, you get 625 equals to 5 to the power of x. And then we try to convert this to an index number of base 5. You can use trial and error, 5 to the power of 1, 5 to the power of 3, 5 to the power of 4, until you get 6 to 5, and you'll find that 5 to the power of 4 equals to 6 to 5. Hence, by comparison, x equals to 4, since the base is the same. So x equals to 4, this is x, x equals to 4 here, so log base 5 of 6 to 5 equals to 4. Question, example number 3, solve the following equations. In other words, determine the value of x. So I think it's quite obvious that we can convert this to the equations in index form by moving the 3 to the right hand side, you get x equals to 3 to the power of 2 which is 9. So x equals to 9. How about this? Okay, so we move the 5 to the right hand side, it becomes 5 to the power of 2. So you have x plus 1 equals to 5 to the power of 2, and then 5 to the power of 2 is 25. You move the 1 here, 5 becomes minus 1, 25 minus 1, you get 24. So this concludes the part 1 video. In the part 2 video, we will look at anti-logarithm, inverse function of logarithm, and the laws of logarithm. That's all, thank you.